Thank you very much, Jonathan. Much appreciated. Uh, we move now to our guest from the United States, Kate Timer, who's with Archives Next. Kate. Uh, thank you. Um, the title of my talk is Now is What Matters. Uh, when I was approached to speak on this topic, the question I asked myself was, how could or should the role of archives be different in a digital society? And in the time I have, I will focus on two answers to that question, two activities that I think archives should make primary considerations to best meet the needs of our digital society. First, building on the title of my talk, archives should be aggressively documenting the now. We all know that digital is ephemeral by its very nature. That's well understood. And I think or hope that the processes for capturing and preserving formally created organizational electronic records is also well understood in our archives and records community. But the digital equivalent of personal papers is another matter. For these, we have the fragility of the digital, but also the problem that creators and custodians don't always think their material as having, of their material as having lasting value, as we heard earlier this morning. And I'm thinking primarily here about community or grassroots groups, individual people and others carrying out largely unofficial activities. And of course, that's nothing new. But in the past, non-digital letters, diaries, et cetera, could be stored in attics and neglected and still survive. But that is not necessarily true of things like blogs, Twitter and Facebook accounts, and materials shared on tools like Instagram, Vine, Flickr, and Tumblr, which are the tools most people, or many, many younger people today, use to document their daily lives. Some archives are collecting materials created on social media platforms like these. But I suspect that this happens, um, often happens in response to a tragedy or a one-time event, such as an anniversary or the Olympics. But it needs to happen systematically and broadly, with archives identifying and collecting materials that document how people live their lives now. So we need to make a collection of the digital a primary focus. But in addition to capturing such materials, archives need to educate people about how to preserve their own digital material which I believe is a key aspect of the role of archives in a digital society, making people understand their own role in documenting that society. And for this, we may be able to build on the clear interest people have in documenting themselves as displayed on their activities on, on the widespread use of social media tools. My second idea about the changed role of archives for a digital society involves reframing our mission. Often when we talk about the mission or purpose of archives, it's all about the materials, to acquire, to preserve, to provide access to the materials. And instead, I think the way we frame our mission should focus on people. And so my second recommendation is that archives need to aggressively help and engage with people now, and help people who don't know they need help, and engage people who don't know they want to engage. And I want to highlight two aspects of the form this would take. First, we need to think of our mission as being to add value to people's lives by increasing their understanding and appreciation of the past. In this model, the archives is a kind of platform for learning in which the collections are secondary to the learning. This recommendation has much in common with the way libraries are seeking to reshape their mission as not being focused on books, but on providing information and being centers for learning and community. And in thinking about this platform, I want to just say that you should just insert, mentally insert Deborah's talk here. And repeat everything that she said when you're thinking about what that platform could look like and what it could achieve and how people could interact with it. So thank you for saving me some time. This means emphasizing the value of archivists as subject matter experts on both archival matters and historical ones relevant to their collections. And in many cases, it would also mean shifting resources to more outward-facing functions to outreach, education, and the creation of interactive web products. The second aspect of this reimagined mission would be to educate and inform people about the importance of understanding the context of information, which is very important in a digital society. Archivists understand context. Most people do not, especially when it comes to digital information. This is related to the larger need for digital literacy. 
People need to be able to understand how to interpret and identify where what they're looking at comes from in order to better understand it. And they also need to understand, as we've heard earlier this morning, about what's not online. So to recap, what should the role of archives be in a digital society? First, we need to be aggressively documenting the now because there won't be a second chance in many cases to capture this documentation. Either we do it or it's lost, or the function is done by others, reinforcing the idea that archives aren't relevant to the present. And we should be aggressively helping and engaging with people now, moving the focus of the mission of archives to helping people build understanding and appreciation of history, and of understanding the context of information in the digital age. What would make this truly provocative would be a corresponding radical realignment of resources to focus on the now, cutting back on investment of resources spent on our own internal processes and processing, and focus on outreach and education. Making these kinds of shifts would make us relevant and useful now, utilizing and building on our skills and knowledge as well as on our collections. It focuses on sharing archival knowledge and the value of what we know and not just in what we have. Abraham Maslow's famous hierarchy of needs traditionally puts self-actualization at the top. But scholars have noted that in later writings, he articulated a yet higher level of human need, the need for self-transcendence, or furthering a cause beyond the self. Archives can help people connect with something larger than themselves, the collections that document history and the history those documents reflect, and their own place in that history. And this, I think, is the key to the role of archives in a digital society. Educate and connect with people now. Thank you. <laughs>